Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to Funny Strange Live. I am Stefan. I am Lori. And today we're going to be talking about five health foods that are actually really terrible for you. Not good for you. And I want to be very clear. We're not making fun of the foods themselves. We're making fun of the people yes. who are marketing those yes. foods. Yes. We're I trying think... to dupe you into thinking they're actually healthy when they're not. I think that marketing people who work at food companies are actually very funny. Like, they try way too hard. And, um, and by funny, we mean evil. And, I, I don't know. It's like they're trying to make food seem healthy. It's just it's all about ankles. Right? It is. All right. So number five, we're going to talk about uh, first food we're going to talk about on this list. Let's talk about sun chips. Oh, the first betrayal. It was 1993. <laughs> you were sitting out on your patio in the sun, slathered in baby oil, peroxide in your hair, eating a bag of sun chips. Drinking Diet Coke. Drinking Diet Coke. Yeah. And you're thinking, I'm making healthy choices. Yeah. Until you looked at the bag of sun chips and you realized, <laughs> this has the same ingredients as a battery. <laughs> This is not healthy for you. Their, um, their uh, claim to fame was that they were made of wheat, right? Whole wheat. They were whole grain chips. That was when wheat was still good for you. And also when people believed that you could, I guess, deep fry whole wheat and it'd still and be good still for be you. still be good for you. Yeah. yeah. Number four, turkey bacon. Are we still buying that this is in any way, shape, no, or form a healthy? No, it's dry and I don't think it's any better for me. Eat bacon. Yeah, just eat regular bacon. If you're, said, you're just fooling yourself. Plus... Yeah. Is that really turkey or is it turkey and fillers or, you know, it's... I have a feeling it's the Big Mac of turkeys. I it is. Think it's, it is. Uh, a it's bunch of different turkeys went different into that. It's different turkeys per slice. Just eat, a, just eat bacon. Just eat bacon. You know you want to. <laughs> Number three, Smart Pop. I still like Smart Pop. I like Smart Pop too, but dig this. Um, it basically, if you eat the whole bag, it's the same as eating an entire carton of chicken McNuggets. No, it's like 200 calories or something, right? Mm, it's more than that. Oh, no. Wanna... This is where serving size kind of gets I know it's bad for me. I know. And it's right. like covered in cheese. It's not It's not. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, you, you get, yeah, the, the, you little get the little nerd little cheese dust fingers. on your yeah, fingers. Yeah. yeah, the little You Frito think you're not eating dust. Cheetos, but really you're just eating grown-up Cheetos. Right? You kind of are eating yeah. Cheetos because here's the secret. Smart Pop. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, anecdotally, today I was standing behind a woman at the market, a, a regular sized woman yeah. who just popped open a bag of Cheetos and started eating them right there at the checkout. And everybody was like, she doesn't have any kids with her. What's going on? But she wasn't like, like, a, you know, an, an overweight woman. She was just like a woman who wanted some damn Cheetos right then. All right. She's not going to be watching our video. She's not watching this video. <laughs> All right. And uh, number two. Lean cuisine. People, can we stop fooling ourselves I like that, it. that that product is actually either? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's neither lean it's not. nor is it cuisine. And it leaves like a metallic taste in your mouth? Well, here, here's the thing about lean cuisine. It might be lower in calories, but what they lower in calories, they so make up for in sodium. Part of the way that you lose weight with the lean cuisine is through heart palpitations <laughs> from the amount of sodium that they pack into every mandarin chicken and... I, I like the pizzas. Yeah. And but they do they do make my heart beat faster. Yeah, no, I, I always feel like it's sort of like Lean Cuisine is basically like if you take a regular entree and drug dealer style, you step on it <laughs> a bunch of ways. And it's like, okay, so you're you're not getting the same. I should just be eating regular intake. pizza, is that what you're saying? If you want to have a slice of pizza, have a slice. Well that's the problem. I can't just have one slice. Oh well there you go. <laughs> Number one, and and this is one that's been around uh, also since the nineties, where we began our fine discussion. <laughs> Jamba juice. It, are we still actually thinking that this is in any way healthy for you? Well, it has fruit in it. Soda we, pop tarts. What I mean, that, one of those really big ones has like 1,300 calories. Drink like, a milkshake. Just, just drink a milkshake. Drink a milkshake. You'll be happier. Yeah. You'll live a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe a McDonald's milkshake. Oh, God, that sounds good. Cool. Yeah. All right, you know, my here. uncle claims to have invented the shamrock shake. He does. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're going to say on that. All right, so those are uh, five health foods that are actually terribly unhealthy for you. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see you next time. Let's go do the shamrock shake. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>